What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching a Rage and Ronin review. Got a review for you. I saw Mortal Engines. It's a film based off of the novel of the same name. And I think there are four books in the series because it's called the, like, the Mortal Engines Quartet. So I guess this would be the first film in uh, like a, what could be like a four film franchise. The novel is written by Philip Reeve and the film's directed by Christian Rivers. Now this is a, a um, uh, Wingnut Films production. So it's produced by Peter Jackson. When I watched the film, it definitely does have Peter Jackson's fingerprints on it, but this is definitely nowhere near the quality of storytelling in Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. When I watched the trailer for this film, it didn't excite me, but I thought the concept was interesting. I felt that, uh, okay, this is a really, really unique and interesting concept. Where did this all come from? Well, it turns out it came from a book. Uh, Peter Jackson purchased the rights to uh, the the film rights to make the make the book into a film uh, back in two thousand nine. So now the film's finally made, and the marketing for this film really didn't make this film look exciting at all. It just didn't. It did not get me excited. I felt that is a film that could be quite boring, and I was hoping it wasn't going to be because I still wanted to watch it because I like science fiction. I like films that are post apocalyptic and in the future. So I decided to check it out. And I wasn't that far off with my thoughts. It wasn't that exciting. It had a good opening sequence. It had um, an okay final climactic battle. But everything in between then, it was uh, pretty slow and boring. And the critics did say that it's got a lot of visuals to marvel over, make you feel like all that wonder. But... It's not a very eventful film. It looks like it could have potential, but the concept itself is really, really out there. And I don't know how many people are fans of this book. I guess it, you know, it is a best-selling novel. I don't read any novels, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how popular it really is. But let me tell you that the execution of it just didn't seem to translate well on film because it's not a very eventful film. Like not a whole lot of exciting things happen. Sure, there's a lot of things going on, but it doesn't really get more exciting than the opening sequence. It really doesn't. All of the big stuff that really captures your attention is at the big at the, is at the beginning of the movie. And beyond that, that's pretty much it. The characters, I mean, I think Hugo Weaving is the strongest, has the strongest performance. Uh, he's the most veteran actor out of everybody there. He puts in a good performance, but still his character is still very, very cl a cliched villain. As for the rest of the characters, like the protagonists, and as well as the supporting cast, who are the good guys, none of them really make me that uh, like interested or engaged about their characters, but I will say this. The main character, uh, Hester Shaw, played by Hera Hilmar, I start liking her near the end of the movie. I'm talking about at the end of the movie. It took me a while for, really, for me to really like her character. I just didn't feel that her character was interesting. She's got no charisma. She just didn't make me feel engaged at her cause. Speaking of causes, I don't get anybody's motives. Like sure, there's the, 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 the motive of revenge there, but I really don't find any of it believable. I don't feel that the motive for uh, Hugo Weaving's character, Thaddeus Valentine, I don't find it believable. I don't find uh, Hera Hilmar, Mars, um, motives honestly that believable i don't get anybody's motives really they just don't feel real to me and it's i and i don't even know if it's because of the performance it's just maybe their characters are just not that interesting so that's that now there is this like a side story to this film having to do with um the character of shrike voiced by stephen lang I think that's a side story that can be cut out. I know it's part of the novel and I heard that they changed some things, but I think that if you remove that part, that aspect of the film, it's the same movie. It really doesn't add anything. It just adds a sequence, like, a, like an action sequence. But besides that, it doesn't really, it's almost there for the sake of being there just to appease the, uh, the fans of the novel. 
But honestly, having it as part of the film, it doesn't work and it doesn't need to be there. It, I find that it wastes time and I honestly don't understand the motive behind that whole aspect at all at all that character's at the uh, motives so like it, it it doesn't work for me it doesn't make any sense at all <laughs> um yeah it's uh yeah not really not that great of a film which is unfortunate it's a peter jackson production and i thought that you know we would have some better storytelling there but uh i think he just liked the concept and he wanted to make it into a film but he couldn't have put in, he didn't wasn't able to put his personal touches into the writing and um, the vision. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna give this film a five out of 10. It's a pretty uneventful film. And I was fearing that. I was a little bit worried about that, even though I felt that it had more action than I thought. Um, it still was not that exciting to me. And I wish that we could have had more sequences like the opening sequence of the film. I wish we could have had more of that. That would have been cool. Uh, but, um, we didn't get that. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. It's not a film that I could recommend. Um, but if you're curious, go check it out. <laughs> 5 out of 10. As always, if you enjoyed this uh, video, you, uh, this review, you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. I'll follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.